Hello and welcome back to the Old Golden Black YouTube channel. I'm Tom Rouse and thank you for joining me for this match review of yesterday's defeat against QPR. Uh, a disappointing performance from everybody and I'll come uh, to that in a bit but I just wanted to say that the reason why it's a little bit delayed is because I got back home yesterday quite late and wanted to have a detailed look at some of the thoughts of Nuno and Tim Spears as well before putting my own opinions up as well because I've been called negative and stuff in recent videos I wanted to be as honest as I could without being too negative about the performance yesterday because for me it was the worst performance that we've had this season there's a number of people who didn't turn up mistakes and a little bit complacent perhaps after the game against Manchester City however the defeats that we've had so far this season against Cardiff and against Sheffield United, we've bounced back from rather well and gone on a little bit of a run after those games as well. So hopefully that will spur the team on to perform better in the games coming up this week because there's not much rest now before the Norwich game and then there's a big game against Fulham on Friday night as well. Both of the QPR goals yesterday came from defensive errors. Sice giving the ball, the ball away for the first goal and then Miranda being beaten too easily on the header for the second goal, which also was, if you come back a few phases of play, the free kick that was given away that led to that chance was from a poor Neves pass. And Wolves weren't effective in possession, they were slow with the ball. QPR, like we've seen Preston do and like we saw Cardiff do, were quick to close the midfield down and quick to close the back three down as well, which is a major issue for me. Uh, is that those three's ability to play football, or in particular the style of football that Wolves want to play. They're closed down quickly by the attackers and it puts us under pressure in that area of the pitch. So I just want to see them getting the ball out to the wings a little bit quicker. It's obviously been spotted by opposition managers that that's a key way of stopping us plays from closing the ball down in our defensive third and putting pressure on the ball in the midfield as well. Neves and Sice didn't have enough space or time on the ball yesterday and that's because of the job that the uh, QPR midfield did as well. Attacking, I felt that we were a little bit naive yesterday. The only real chances that we had were when Jota made a darting run and got in between two or three players. When the ball was being knocked about in the midfield occasionally, the attacking runners weren't active really, I didn't think. I think we need to be making more runs in behind the defenders and looking for through balls and things like that. And I think this is part of the learning curve and something that needs to be worked on on the training pitch. A particular, a real annoyance for me yesterday was the quality of delivery into the box from set pieces. A number of times we saw corners just being lumped to the back post and nobody able to get onto it at all. It was great that Bonatini got a goal though. Uh, he's the first player since Bakary Sacco to score in four championship games in a row, which is brilliant. And it was also good that uh, Willy Bolly was back on the bench. Uh, but <laughs> there were very few positives to take away from yesterday's game. And it's just to briefly touch on Bright Denner Bakari. He came off the bench yesterday with about 15-20 minutes to go. And there was a couple of times again where he got himself into good positions, but wasn't shooting. That's what he's got to work on. And for me personally, in January, I would be sending him out on loan. He needs to go somewhere where the stakes are a little bit lower and the pressure is off a bit and he can just go and play football without having the sort of... The fans a little bit starting to turn out and losing their patience with him. Okay, he's only 19 and he's got a lot to learn. But for me, at the level that we are looking to be at, he's not quite ready at the moment. He needs a good 10 goals under his belt with Warsaw or somebody like that. I heard a lot of people yesterday call him the uh, footballing forest gump, which uh, I can understand because he was he's got very, very good things. He's very quick and he's very strong, but he hasn't got a very good footballing brain and that's what you need to be at the top of the championship. So let me know what you thought about Brighton and Bakari over the last week or so. He's had some really good moments. Do you Would you send him out on loan if you were in charge or would you keep ploughing him into the first team and giving him that experience. It'll be interesting to see how uh, Morgan Gibbs-White is managed after his successful under-17s World Cup performance, scoring a goal in the final as well, so great for him and hopefully he'll be given a chance in the first team as the weeks progress. He obviously missed a couple of chances in the uh, Carabao Cup through injury and through being out on uh, international duty as well. So thank you very much for watching, don't forget to drop a like and subscribe to the channel if you've enjoyed let me know in the comments as well, how do you think we're going to bounce back on Tuesday night against Norwich? We have seen Nuno be able to rally the troops and bounce back from defeats in the past. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.